And the first words were Sir Rob to say sorry because I promised him for weeks I wasn't going to do anything like this. Uh, there we go. Do you want to talk, please? <laughs> right, first of all, just to reiterate what's already been said, what a fantastic concert, diverse, fantastic. It's a bit unique across the city, really, and you go to different schools and you don't quite get, not just the standard, but the diversity that's gone on. And yes, there's loads of mistakes, but that's really important. That's what we're here for, is to improve and learn from those mistakes. That's fantastic. But that's not the unique bit about tonight's concert. The unique bit about tonight's concert is a certain Mr. Jones, Rob to me, who is seeing out 30 years, are we at? 32 years. I stopped counting when we got to 20, mate, sorry. <laughs> so we've got 30 years, and he, he sees us ridiculously young to be leaving us, but he is leaving us. Um, thanks, Sheila. And, <laughs> and, and just to say that we're moving on as a department, I'm sure we're in more than capable hands, but he has left behind an amazing legacy. And I'd like to say a couple of key things. And the key things that struck me last night, and it was really it was a treadmill moment in the gym, and it's suddenly an epiphany and it hit me, and I thought, you know what? We just stop talking about wages and stop talking about titles and stop talking about how big the car is. And judge a teacher at the end of their career when they've actually achieved something that is to do with investing in children over a long, long time. And what we've got is an amazing success, not by value, I'm sure you've been paid loads, but not by value, not by job title or any of that, but by students who adore, who have learnt, who have become not just good musicians, and the city's full of them, heads of music from various schools are all ex classical music students, but they become good human beings, they become great people in society, and that stems from an ethos that I walked into some years ago when I first met Rob, and we set, set up this idea that it's music for everybody, music for all. I think the great phrase I still quote him on is, bite off more than you can chew and then chew like mad. And so it's a great ethos to have, and it's carried on, and we're looking forward to carrying on after you've gone, with the same sort of verve and something you've brought us up with and taught us to do. The rumour broke quietly on the corridor of the music department some months ago that he was going, and uh, it grew from a whisper to a bigger noise, to a departmental noise, to a, a school noise, to a citywide noise, and then we started to get emails and various Facebooks and various other things came into us, and then we started to get, you won't know this better, you'll find out more in a moment, but DVDs, uh, video messages from, not just from the city, but across the country, from across the world, one from China, for example, uh, from an ex-musician of ours who's now on tour. Uh, all that grew, and those people then started to get in contact, and a little gem of an idea grew, and that little gem of an idea is about to happen now in front of us, where they all start to say, well, can we do something? Can we turn up? Can we say hello? Can we say... And I've noticed already the audience is full of faces that are making me feel very old, to be honest. But those faces here aren't the only faces. We've got a huge amount of faces, and they'd like to come on and actually do their little bit for us. And if we just patience a little bit while the door's open. And the various people from yesteryear Musicians, singers, instrumentalist singers, I should say. Not musicians, singers. It's quite so often to remind you a few minutes to get them all in. I'm sure we thought this bit through, it's here's the way they all go now, to be honest. And we won't mention the health and safety regs. OK, 
Okay, the next line was going to be an out for the surreal bit, but I just had such a surreal moment then, as all the faces walked past. The surreal bit is this, that their great idea was, can we do a piece of music for Rob? And can the piece of music be, and here's the surreal moments, the piece we all associate with Rob, because he arranged it, and we did it in the orchestra every single year that we were at Gattaca, and this is going back. And of course it's in the middle of July. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Slade. So here we are, rewritten by our, our yesteryear brilliant musicians. And, thank you, and we're going to do it. <laughs> Probably, I did use the word unique at the beginning of the night. A one and once only moment of a Christmas song in July, written by ex the students, performed by all Cordless and Pass Gatsby students. And this one is a sign, as far as we're concerned, of just how successful your career has been. It's amazing.
couldn't say to follow that. Michael Ivey, look at him. That was brilliant. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I, uh, I arrived in Gattaca in uh, 1987. Rick Astley was number one. <laughs> Never going to give you up. And uh, I had one room and a piano, and that was it. And I became the head of music in 1990. Uh, and I was, in effect, head of me. It was only me. And, uh, in 1993, Mr. Warner, my school friend, uh, came along, and that was when things really began to take off. Got the great department. Thank you to all, everybody. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. And we'll leave you with a uh, Hey Jude, which I believe you've got a few things to wave in the air. So I became. I became a music teacher just for nights like this to perform with great musicians of all ages and it's been a real thrill and I'll see you for the carol concert. Thank you all.